All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover pictures that maybe you have deleted or maybe the kids got on here and deleted something or your computer crashed and you lost important files or pictures, uh, videos, music, or maybe even deleted something on your camera. You can recover from your, your memory card or flash drive also and I'll show you how. On the top of your browser, type in recover. R E C U V A dot com. Hit enter. Now, right here, unless you want to buy it, right here you click the download button. And then on these two here, if you want to get it from Pureform, which is this site right here, I would advise to get it from this site. Click pureform.com and it's, it'll download here in the lower left. Well, if you have Google Chrome, it does. And let's see, I always like to, there you go, as soon as you see the EXE, you know it's done. Open. And now, once you have that file downloaded something without your browser open is a lot better download. Click Next. Leave all of those checked. Click Install. And on these, re these two right here, uncheck both of them. I mean, you, you can start it up if you want right away, but I'm going to show you how it works without the this here. Okay, now, we have the icon right here. You can double click on the icon. It's always asking me administration permissions. Now, this is the wizard. You don't need that. The best thing to do is put a check mark in that. Do not allow this wizard on startup. And then click cancel. And this is what you want right here. Now, if you have you want to get it just off your C drive you can leave it where it's at all local disks if you don't know where your picture was located at you can search the whole computer with it this way or just like it like what it's already on local disk or removable disk say you have a memory card and you put it in your computer it'll find it and show up on here or a flash drive even now I have a couple other because this is my virtual machine. I got virtual box guest editions in there. So I'm just going to leave it on local C, just on C drive. Now over here you can find out what you want to recover. Pictures, music documents, videos, compressed files or email. Now I'm just going to set up for pictures just for this video here. Now you can set it for deep scan, but this is just a a, a light scan which is real fast it goes three times there's one two three now I found all these images and they're not just pictures or images of every single bit of software that you've downloaded anything that has any kind of picture to it see there's the Apple one from right here from downloading this now if, if it's green if it shows green, then you can absolutely recover it with ease. Then you let's see this in here would be the apple. You just put a check mark in there and click recover. Now it doesn't want you to recover it to the same place that you got it from, but from C drive it really more or less is. I'll send this one to the desktop and then click OK. You want to restore, restore to the same drive. This can reduce the chances of successfully, well, I'm going to anyway. And then click OK. Now there it is. There's my little image. <laughs> now if I had a bunch of pictures, then you could, you could put a check mark in every single one of them. And when you click on it, it'll show you what the picture would be. I don't have any pictures downloaded on this computer, but I knew that there would be a bunch of images. Now if you wanted all these ones that are red, your picture might show up in there and it won't say no preview available. Well, this is how you take care of that. You click options and then actions and then enable deep scan. Now this will increase the scan time. It will take quite a bit longer, but I'm guessing like maybe half hour at the most. But believe me, it'll, it's well worth it depending on the pictures that you want to recover. Family pictures are real valuable. All right, I guess that about covers it. Um, thank you very much for watching.